So it's now cosmic. It's metaphysical. It's cosmic. It's built into things. This idea was picked up by the famous Jesuit Teilhard de Chardin. I mentioned him before. That becomes the secret of progress in Teilhard, all the way from the first collection of molecules to the emergence of human consciousness, to the fulfillment of history, everything is about oh, greater and greater complexity leading to greater and greater liberty. There it is. Um, and then the theologians got into the act. Now, these theologians were not getting their ideas from the church. They were not getting their ideas from Constantine the Great. They were not getting their ideas from Urban VIII. They were getting them from the Whigs. And they decided they could play this game too. And they got into writing theologies of history in which, guess what? All historical process was about man's self-liberation. Mm -hmm. In a way, it's God's self-disclosure. In a way, it's man's own achievement. The human and the divine just sort of mixed together without clear boundaries. And all of history is, becomes the history of a liberation effort. Huh? Now then, that is the very question with which the theology of liberation introduced itself. Okay? The opening question, this is the opening question in Gutierrez's book, it's the opening question for Juan Luis Segundo and all the rest of those writers. The opening question, what is the relation between the kingdom of God and the historical process of the liberation of man. That's their question. I say, wait a minute. What historical process of the liberation of man? Is the gulag part of that process? Huh? Is this a continuous development? Couldn't tyranny come back tomorrow in spades? Absolutely. There's no such metaphysical guarantee of progressively greater liberty. This is all ideological baloney, bad metaphysics. And now you want to put God into this and make human liberation the aim and purpose of providence? That's exactly what the liberation theologians wanted to do. So they started with a corrupt question, okay, and then reached an even more corrupt answer. But I'm not going to tell you what that answer was because I've said enough tonight. See you next week.